they said we were going to be really close and and that we were basically right there if not a little short and and really the situation we were in you know leading the race we didn't talk about falling back to try to draft because we all know as soon as i do that the caution comes out and everybody makes it from there so um I knew it was really close, and I knew just from the lap that we pitted, uh, without them telling me, I knew it was it was a long ways on gas for everybody. And uh, you know, obviously, once it once it sputtered, I really knew that we were close. So um, I was the first one to know for sure. So given that, were you more disappointed uh, with the fact that you had such a great handling car and weren't able to capitalize on it, or because of the fuel situation? Um. I guess a little bit of both. I think they kind of come hand in hand. I mean, we had a great car uh, for sure, and, and the day went pretty well for us. Being able to lead some laps and kind of be able to push some lanes forward. I thought our car was had the ability to kind of be that guy and be able to push a lane and make something happen, which is what you always want, you know, at a speedway. We were fortunate enough to uh, to stay out of some of the wrecks. So really, I, I think the biggest disappointment is it was just a. You know, we were able to survive all the way to the end, and, and that's a hard thing to do in itself. And you don't see a whole lot of super speedway races come down to fuel mileage. So um, I think that was a big thing. It was just it's so hard to survive that race and just to make it to the end. You know, we saw a lot of tore up cars, and um, we were fortunate enough to, to get there. And I think that's the biggest thing is we made it to the end. It's just um, not in the right manner.